systemation of COD in wastewater. COD means chemical oxygen demand. It can be defined as the total number of milligrams of oxygen required for oxidation of organic matter present in wastewater into carbon dioxide water using a strong chemical oxidant. The COD is a measure of capacity of water to consume oxygen during decomposition of organic matter and oxidation of inorganic chemicals like ammonia and nitrite. It is an important analytical parameter used to measure the pollution strength of industrial wastewater and results can be obtained within a short interval of time. To estimate COD in wastewater, first we have to prepare standard FAS solution. FAS means ferrous ammonium sulphate solution. First we have to collect FAS salt, then add one test full of dilute sulfuric acid that is to prevent hydrolysis of ferrous ions. Otherwise, we will get turbid solution. Watch the funnel, watch the sides of the flask, then dissolve the salt. After dissolving the salt, add water up to the mark. Then put the stopper and mix well for uniform concentration. So mix well for uniform concentration. After mixing well for uniform concentration, you have to take the standard solution into your burette. So I already have taken the standard solution in this burette. Then estimation the second part is estimation of COD in wastewater. So first we have to prepare out 25 ml of wastewater, I have taken 25 ml of wastewater, then 25 ml of potassium dichromate solution. The potassium dichromate is a strong oxidizing agent, it oxidizes the organic matter present in wastewater. 25 ml of potassium dichromate solution, 25 ml of wastewater, 25 ml of potassium dichromate solution using pipette. Then add one test full of six normal sulfuric acid containing silver sulfate. The silver sulfate acts as a catalyst so that we can oxidize organic impurities like starch and aliphatic compounds and aromatic compounds effectively. The reason of adding six normal sulfuric acid is to maintain acidic medium because potassium dichromate acts as strong oxidizing agent in acid medium. We added sulfuric acid in the preparation of standard solution that is to prevent hydrolysis here to the reaction mixture is to maintain acidic medium. And mix well. So the potassium dichromate which oxidizes organic matter into carbon dioxide and water. And oxidizes inorganic chemicals like ammonia, nitrite, etc. Then add 2 to 3 drops of ferrine indicator. The chemical name of this indicator is 110 phenolphthalein iron 2 sulfate. Add 2 to 3 drops of ferrine indicator and mix well. Here the color changes from blue green to reddish brown color. Blue green color is due to blue is due to indicator. So this is a ferrine indicator 110 phenolphthalein, the reddish brown color. So when I add this indicator into the reaction mixture, which contains oxidizing agent, so that oxidizing agent oxidizes this iron 2 plus 2, iron 3 plus. This is iron 2 plus gets oxidized to iron 3 plus that gives blue color. So if 
ferrine 110 phenolphthalein iron 2 sulfate complex is reddish brown color when that oxidized to iron 3 place gives blue color so indicator in oxidized form gives blue color and green is due to the chromium 3 plus so blue green color the color changes from blue green color to reddish brown color so titrate Changes to reddish brown color. See, supposed to get this color, reddish brown color. This is due to indicator in reduced form. So, oxidized form gives blue color, reduced form of indicator gives reddish brown color. So, indicator is responsible for the both the color, blue color and reddish brown color. After getting reddish brown color, take out the burette from the stand and read the values. So from this value it is not possible to calculate the COD base water. So this titration is called as back titration. Reason is that we are not titrating directly what sample against the standard FA solution. You add 25 ml of dichromate solution. The dichromate solution oxidizes the organic matter present in 25 ml of waste water into carbon dioxide and water. Unreacted potassium dichromate solution we have titrated against the standard FA solution. So this titration is called as pack titration. It is not possible to know how much amount of dichromate is consumed by the waste water. Then we have to go for the blank titration where the blank titration is same as it of back titration where without waste water. Means you have to take only 25 ml of dichromate solution and sulfuric acid indicator and take it against the same standard solution. Then the volume consumed in blank titration is higher than the, the back titration. This difference blank minus back titration gives the amount of dichromate consumed in wastewater in terms of FAS that is used to calculate COD wastewater.